This is an attic conversion we finished last year. I never got a chance to do a video. I'm just calling back here now uh, for an unrelated issue. And uh, this is in Quarryfield Court in Clondalk. It's a two bed mid terrace and a very um, compact house already. So to fit a full size normal staircase into it was quite a quite a feat. So we completely rejigged the bathroom now. Until, unless you could see the original version, it's hard to tell what we've done. Uh, but I've built um, the bathroom around uh, the staircase. So that's the staircase coming up there. Now we still have full size sink, full size toilet, um, and uh, the bath and showers in the bath. And we didn't lose any space off any of the bedrooms and everything else worked out beautiful. So we have a full size stairs going up here. Now lots of tricks um, to get the full size stairs in and to work the way it did. Now a little landing at the top of the stairs because we're too far to the front of the house. Uh, to have full high head height here so with the landing we get to step in a few steps before we before we step into the attic and that'll get us the extra bit of head height we needed again with the uk 08 for the extra head space um, this is very small attic and um, so it is uh, but it's big enough to be a double bedroom if they wanted it to be like a double bed can easily go against that wall or that wall so in a house that only has a double bedroom and a single bedroom this is an extra double bedroom. Well, like I say, obviously it's not um, legit uh, because you're having the eight foot ceilings. Um, so an extra bit of storage space over here. This is one of the first jobs we used the pancake lights on. Uh, the LED strip lights, or panel lights, so they're only 12 millimeters thick, so you can need the full insulation value across the top. Wired in smoke alarm, and this is the basic blackout blinds. Instead of the duo blackout blinds where there's two layers, this is just straight to blackout. And a thermostatic controlled radiator. This is where your head would normally hit um, on the ceiling, whereas you have all this extra space here to walk around in with this room. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you a quick job of a, a finished job painted and everything, which is really nice for me to see because I rarely get to see them like this. And this obviously changed uh, the life of these folks. Now, I just got told that another neighbour and um, got a a cheaper attic conversion company to do the job, do a job for them in the same house. They're a week in, couldn't figure out what how to do it, so they came in here, measured up, and uh, still couldn't figure out how to do it. And it's a it's a a different kind of a job now. So um, <laughs> um yeah, it just it didn't work out quite as uh, efficient on the L space front. And uh, although it was cheaper, it wasn't good value for money. So that's it. Thank you very much.